Hi, I'm Michael with Hawkridge Systems, and today we'll take a look into if SolidWorks Manage is the right data management solution for you. Every company has a process that they follow to get a design from concept to production. Along the way, there are many actions that need to take place, including updating files and statuses, synchronizing data between applications, or even creating sub-processes and items which relate to the project. Manually, performing these actions require time, waiting on approvals, and the possibility that pieces are left out, causing delays. Within SOLIDWORKS Manage, we have many ways to simplify your process via automation. In this video, we'll focus on the powerful outputs of a managed process by providing some examples of how each one may be used. To start, we can take a look at the process flow from the configuration tool. Here, we can control what stage to perform an automated output along with any conditions we want to apply before performing an action. Adding new actions at a selected stage of your process is simple, and we have lots of different outputs to choose from. Let's get into them specifically. Add related files is a great way to push out any reference documentation from an engineering change to the affected components. When users view any affected items, they will also have access to these related files that were added within the process, making finding relevant information a breeze. Numbering schemes can have meaning, and as a process continues, the process number can reflect that. Change numbering scheme allows us to change how a file number is presented as the process moves along, showing users that a change request has been approved and is now at the point of the process where the models are being updated based on the change order. SolidWorks Manage is tightly integrated with SolidWorks CAD and PDM software, and this is the prime example. Approving a managed process with PDM files as affected items can kick off a PDM state change, making approvals easy. SolidWorks Manage as an application can be utilized without SolidWorks and PDM as well, and has its own file status management independent of PDM. We can control the managed status of any record attached to a process, letting users quickly glance at a file's icon to check the release status. Permissions and access to files can be an important security need. With copy, move, or change record, we can duplicate or move files and update statuses based on our process, allowing for visibility and status control. We can designate a release folder with wider permissions for a component to be moved to after a design is approved. Processes can be used to generate new components within SolidWorks Manage, and there are six different types of records that can be created. The functionality of the output is the same for all, so I'll only show one. In a lot of cases, before materials, off-the-shelf products, or new suppliers can be used, a validation process needs to occur. Upon process approval, a new item or a new company contact can be added to manage for future reference and utilization in other areas of the application, such as notifications. Managing users via process can also be done, allowing us to enable, disable, and delete users from a managed system. This makes editing contractors and vendor contacts available for all users via process instead of an action only administrators can take. It is sometimes important to collect and package items into a binder for clients, vendors, or other applications. Export file to server can create a copy of affected items and generate a report and save it to a location outside of the manage environment. This can be utilized to get data to those with little or no access to manage. Manage can also generate XML files. Changes to a bill of materials from a design might need to be updated in other systems as well. XML is a commonly used programming language that can connect data between applications, allowing you to export data from Manage into an ERP or other system. Similar to creating new records, we can kick off a new process during an existing process. Design often consists of multiple teams working together to bring a product to realization, and each team may need to follow their own process in parallel with others. Branching into multiple processes can reduce bottleneck in your workflow and provide flexibility to your design process. A process allows us to update information within the affected items. We are able to update any managed items, automatically keeping the metadata up to date. Update record allows us to take information from the process, such as the change number and approver, and propagate it down to the affected items, including into the PDM data card and the drawing title block. Managed processes are extremely powerful and can be used to automate your environment in a way to decrease end-user workload and improve efficiency. If you think your company can benefit from any of these features and would like to learn more about SolidWorks Manage, please reach out to us at Hawkridge Systems to find out more. Thank you and have a great day.